Hello, this video is about one of the most common complaints that owners of the shore flap pet door have, and that is that the batteries seem to run out very quickly. The shore flap uh, pet door, like this one, which is a dual scan uh, model, uses four AA alkaline batteries, and the batteries are supposed to last about six months, but they seem to last much less than that. Uh, many owners have said that they don't get the batteries to last more than a few weeks in some cases, uh, and certainly not up to six months. So I looked at this problem and thought, well, perhaps we could use a power supply and not use batteries at all. I looked online and saw that someone else had also attempted that and ran into some problems uh, whenever they supplied exactly six volts to the system using a power supply. Uh, they could get the door to lock and unlock, but the door would not recognize the cat at all. And uh, they actually opened the system and found uh, what they thought was uh, two different circuits, one that was using three volts and one that was using six volts. Um, and uh, possibly the six volt was being used to open and close the door and the three volt system was possibly being used for the RFID system. In any case, I uh, obtained a couple of inexpensive power supplies, which are these power adapters, such as those used for our cell phones. Uh, this is a three volt output at one amp. And I replaced uh, two of the batteries with one of these and the other two batteries with another one of these. And I ran into the same problem. The door would lock and unlock when you attach the power supply. So it seemed to provide enough current and uh, correct voltage for the door lock. But uh, I couldn't get the RFID portion to work and it would not recognize my cats and my cats could not get in or out uh, through the door. And I even tried uh, assuming that there was a difference between the uh, three volt circuit and the uh, six volt circuit, I would replace uh, two of the batteries, with one of these and leave the other two batteries in and that didn't work. And then I switched which two batteries I replaced with the power adapter and that didn't work either. And so it turns out that no matter what type, uh, or, or no matter how I used the uh, power adapter, I couldn't get the cat door RFID portion to work. And I believe it's because this is a switching power adapter and these are the uh, very common power adapters that are available these days that are very small, very uh, inexpensive, very light, and very efficient. But because they're switching power adapters, they have a, a uh, mechanism uh, that results in a very high frequency noise. And so that's electromagnetic interference that you can get from these switching power adapters and likely that EMI is interfering with the RFID portion which is in the kilohertz uh, range typically and this noise is probably interfering with that. And so I don't think any of these switching power adapters are going to be able to allow us to use uh, to replace the batteries. And so I'm going to put, table that for now and I'm going to look at that again. Uh, I just received a linear power adapter and that's an older sort of uh, system um, technology, although it's still very useful. And the linear power adapter, they're typically a little larger, a little more expensive, and uh, they will take the line voltage at 60 cycles, bring it to 120 cycles, but can produce an output that's much more uniform, a lot closer to the ideal uh, DC that you get from a battery, which is very steady. And so uh, if you have the appropriate amount of filtering on a linear power adapter, you might be able to get the system to work. In any case, you would expect that that would be 120 cycles per second, whereas this system is working in the kilohertz range. And so there's less likely to be interference. Um, I'll take a look at that and see if that works. If it works, then I'll post a video on that. Uh, for now, I, I've come up with a much simpler solution, what I would call a poor man's solution to the AA battery problem, and that is to use larger batteries. Uh, what is the difference between a smaller and larger batteries when you have uh, quadruple A, triple A, double A, C or D size batteries? All of them produce 1.5 volts because they all do have the same chemical within them, uh, the same galvanic cell. They all give you a nominal 1.5 volts. And if you use four of them in series, you're going to get uh, six volts. So you can use larger batteries. And why is that? The main difference between smaller and larger batteries are twofold. One is that the smaller batteries have a smaller maximal current 
that they can provide, and the larger batteries have a larger maximal current that they can provide. But that does not mean that the larger batteries are, are going to damage your circuit. The circuit determines how much current it pulls. And so whatever the load is, that will determine what its maximal current is. And so if you have a system that works on, with smaller batteries, as long as the voltage is the same, you can use larger batteries without damaging the system. Uh, what is the other difference? And that is the amount of energy that is stored within the battery. The uh, chemical energy in the smaller battery is smaller because there are fewer chemicals. And the chemical energy that's stored in a larger battery is much larger because you've got more chemicals. And so the chemical energy uh, is converted to electrical energy, but you've got more of that chemical energy to uh, convert in a, in a larger battery. And someone has looked at that with regard to energizer batteries, and they found that for AA versus d size batteries, uh, D-sized batteries can last up to five and a half times longer uh, when using the same amount of current that was tested in the system uh, in that uh, study. And so uh, you can get uh, this cat door to la last a lot longer in terms of uh, using D-sized batteries uh, instead of a AA batteries. And I have a very simple system here. I've got the holder that uh, has four, uh, is made for four D-sized batteries. And I've got a, these connectors, which are very uh, simple and inexpensive. Got these, this nine volt connector here. These are basically nine volt connectors that you can get on Amazon very cheaply. And, uh, and that's the uh, lock here. These connectors are made for small gauge wires, particularly like telephone wires and can be obtained at any hardware store or online. You just push in the wires on one side. Uh, they go in between these metal portions down there. And then you push down on this red button using a set of pliers and that clamps down on the wires, makes a secure connection without soldering. With regard to the uh, cat door for now, I have that connected uh, with a simple uh, twist tie method uh, up there, and uh, but that could be made more secure using um, heat shrink tubing uh, on top of that or something. And so uh, for now, I just have it on a simple system. And this door uh, is in a garage door, and so I found that using this holder I could actually just uh, put it in between the insulation and the door and it seems to work fine even operating the garage door the batteries don't fall out uh, it's quite secure that way uh, with regard to the current that's being used in the system we can actually look at that on this uh, multimeter and uh, I put that on DC current and put the multimeter in the circuit here, you're going to see that the baseline current is only about one amp. And uh, let me get that to work. There it is. Then it jumps to about a maximum of 345 amps when the door lock activates. And so uh, the baseline current is only about 1 milliamp. And then, uh, you know, every time the door locks, it uses more current. Uh, in any case, uh, they say that you can't use rechargeable batteries, but I believe that you probably can. Uh, you just need more rechargeable batteries. And so uh, typical rechargeable batteries the old nickel cadmium or the current uh, nickel uh, metal hydride, uh, they use about 1.2 volts. If you have five of those in series, and you can get uh, systems like this modular system, this is made for you know multiple D-sized batteries in series. But if you have five D-sized batteries that are 1.2 volts, you would get uh, six volts. But you can also do that with AA batteries, which are more common and look for a holder that holds uh, five AA batteries uh, online, uh, and, and you can do it that way.